guys, thanks for checking out my channel. Today is part two of Does My Bra Fit? I hope you liked my first video. It gave you all the tips of what to be looking for in your bra. So let's get going. First, I need you to subscribe, like, ring the bell, do all those things. But let's start going because I have a lot to say and I don't like to do longer than like 12, 13, 14 minute videos because as my seven year old would say, boring. So I got a lot to say. And first we're going to talk about washing your bras, how to wash them, how to care for them, when to get a new bra. Next we're going to, I'm going to show you some bras, different styles of bras, and maybe some things that you didn't know about certain bras that you might want to look for when you go shopping again. And number three, I'm going to talk about those things that we love to hate, the straps. No one understands them. No one likes them, but there's a solution and we've kind of already talked about it, but you may not realize. So let's get into it. Here we go for the 10th time that I have said, let's get into it. So washing your bras. I'm going to make this short and sweet. Do not use fabric softener. It's the devil. Don't do it. It's not good for you. It's going to leave stains on your bras. Just don't do it. Do not use fabric softener. Okay, there we go. Number two, use a light detergent when you wash them. I use like an allergy free, but I do that anyway because I have allergies. Uh, the other thing, you can wash your bras on delicate, on cold. Do not dry your bras. Hang them. After you wash them, hang them. What should you wash your bras in? Da -da 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 -da. It is a bra bag, a delicates bag, whatever you want to call it. I got it from Walmart. It was like three to four dollars. And there's a Tide logo. You're welcome because I'm sure everyone's going to go buy one now. Mm. All right. Anyway, so you just, it has a zipper on it. You're just going to put your bras in there, throw it in the wash. Like I said, cold, light detergent. Do not use fabric softener. Just don't. You're throwing your bras away at that point. They get detergent stuck in them. It's so gross. I cannot even tell you. Just don't do it. And hang them. Do not dry them. It's going to heat up. That wire heats up. Mm. Mm. Mm, transition. Mm, it's not good. Um, so with that said, you can literally get one of these at the dollar store. Maybe not the one with the fancy little beautiful Tide logo on it, but you can get these at the dollar store. So look there. And if you're too cheap to go to the dollar store, then lucky you, I have another solution. If you look in your linen closet and you have what I have here, this is called a pillowcase. You're going to put your bras in there. And I've usually folded over a couple times just because I don't want them to get out. Main thing you're trying to protect is those straps from getting tied up in the wash. But it, remember, put them on delicate. So like I said, you can use a pillowcase. Put them in the pillowcase, fold it over a couple times, throw it in the wash. It does the same exact thing. So how often should I wash my bras? I wash my bras every two weeks, if that, to be honest with you. But I alternate my bras. So when people ask me, you know, how can my bras last longer or how often should I buy them? Short and simple. I buy two bras every six months or four bras a year and I alternate. I usually do two bras every six months because like if I gain some weight and I fluctuate or whatever. Um, but so I will buy two like flesh tone nude colored bras every six months and I will alternate those bras back and forth like every other day I will wear them because remember your bra stretch they never shrink so they're just gonna stretch stretch and it's like wearing the same pair of shoes every day if you wear them every single day they're eventually gonna start to stank okay and that's the same thing with your bras I no, it's like, you know, everyone poops. Well, everyone has boob sweat. I hate to tell you, you might have really small boobs and think that you don't have it. It gets hot enough. You're going to have boob sweat and that gets into your bras. It's gross. So alternate them. So you're not sweating as much in them. They're having time to air out and then wash them like every two weeks. Now, what bra should I buy? Should I buy like a black? No, don't even buy black. It's pretty much a waste of time. Just buy something that's going to be close to your skin tone because people say, well, what if I'm wearing a black garment? You, if it matches your skin tone, it's not going to show through because I'm not, I'm not worried about my stomach showing through. So if you have a flesh tone bra, you're probably not going to be worried about it being seen through. And only thing that a darker or a bright colored bra is going to do is show through a white shirt. And it's just another thing that you're going to have to dig through. Just 
neutrals. Neutrals, whatever matches your flesh tone. That's what I'm encouraging. Don't waste your money on colors unless you're just trying to get them for cheap and then you buy them on the sale rack like me. Hence why let's get into the next thing, my bras. And I normally would be like, oh, this is gross. I'm showing you my bras. But I literally had like $300 in gratis from Wacol and I have some nicer Notori bras. Basically, I got these for pretty cheap and I'm gonna show them to you because they're in great condition. So let's get into it. The first one I want to show you. So this is a really cool bra. I can't even wear this bra anymore because it's honestly too small. It is a bralette. Now, the main reason I want to show you this bra, and it's important. If you look here, if you can see, you see, you see, it's so cute. It's a J-snap. And so what a J-snap does, it is a magical creation. Whoever did this, I mean, I feel like they should win like a major award because this is seriously the coolest thing. And maybe I'm just like too excited about it. It is now a racer back because I just took that J snap and I snapped it to the other part of the bra. And now we have a racer back bra. Yes, they make wire bras like this. You can look for them. I know Wacol has some. I believe I've seen it in a Tory or in a Tory. Now I know that Notori makes the feather um, racer back, which is really pretty. Now, if you want to buy a racer back and not do a J snap, I say the J snap because it's the cheaper alternative because it already has it. You can just release your straps. And so with that, we need to keep going and I need to tell you about the racer back. So the racer back, I call it the splurge because most of the time when you wear a racer back, you're splurging. And this is why. When you wear a racer back, you need to go up a cup size. So if you're a 34C, go to a 34D. If you're a 34 double D, go to a 34 triple D or an F. And we'll talk about that later. Basically, you want to go up a cup size plain and simple because you're going to have spillage. Now, if you're cheap and you're going to buy a J snap, not to say that it's cheap, but it's pretty much like a two in one release your straps in the back from what you would normally wear the bra when you don't have it in the J snap position. So when you take, when you are going to put it in the J, uh, blah, 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 blah. when you're going to put it in the J snap position, you want to release those straps before you do, or you're going to have the splurge. Now you could do this and not go up a cup size if you want to, but if you're going to buy a racer back, you might as well just go ahead and go up a cup size because that's how it's going to fit properly is a cup size larger than your size. Do not change the band. That's not going to do anything for you except for make them sit a little lower. And nobody likes when your boobs hang low and they wobble to and throw. I don't think that's how that song goes, but let's keep going. So the next one I have is the one that everyone comes in and they need it for that prom dress or that summer dress or because you're going on vacation and it is the strapless. This is a walk hole strapless. It is awesome. You can see through it. It's great. I love it. Now you'll notice this thing's staying up. You want to know why? It's got a thick band, okay? It has a thick band. So it doesn't have those straps to kind of help the support, but it's got the band. And that's really all that it needs because the band is the foundation, like we've said before. Firm foundation. Yes. And we want to talk about this one has silicone around the edge, which helps it kind of stick and stay in place, which I personally really, really love. Now, I know Notori has a more of a plunge um, strapless bra if you need a plunge. But this is great, and honestly, it's way better than any type of sticky boob that you're going to see. And I got this bra for free, hence why it's in black, because I got color options. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about, if you get sized at Nordstrom, looking at the time. All right, if you get sized at Nordstrom, they're going to size you in a soft shell bra. Most people don't like these. In fact, 95% of the people that come into the store don't buy them because people are afraid of headlights. And I can't blame you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no one wants to show headlights. And honestly, if you really know how to wear a soft shell bra, you won't really care about them because a soft shell bra will warm up to your body temperature and then your fear of headlights kind of just goes away. And it's warmed up to your body temperature, hence not causing your breasts to perk up and freak out. So the main reason that a store like Nordstrom is going to size you in a soft shell bra is they want to see how you fill out that cup. Now, this one doesn't look like it, but I will say this is a full coverage. Um, and I had said a full coverage bra is going to 
fill up more in the upper part of the chest. A shallow would be a demi cup and it's gonna kind of cut through the middle and that's where if you have a more of a shallow cup. Now you can still have a shallow cup and be a double, triple, even a G, F. It's just you are as full up in the chest region towards the top of your chest. You're more of a shallow cup full more at the bottom. But this is a full coverage one and a demi would stop probably right here where you see this. But this is a full coverage. It lets the person who's sizing you see, like, is it touching the breastbone? And how much of that size cup are you filling out? Do you need to go down a cup? Do you need to go up a cup? That's why they're going to size you in a soft shell cup. So don't freak out. They've It's not that they haven't listened to you. That's what everyone gets sized in is a soft shell cup. And if you haven't worn one before, they're really not that bad. I really like this bra, but it was pretty expensive. Okay, so the other one, I just talked about a demi. This is a walk hole demi, and you probably saw it in my last video, except for it was pink because I got the other one at anniversary for sale because it was pink. Okay, so like I said, this bra is a demi bra. It's not gonna be as full of coverage, and the main thing I wanna talk about this is that it is lace, but don't be intimidated by lace. You're more likely to see the color of this bra through the t-shirt than you're gonna be able to see the texture. The bras they make these days are really great about not being able to see the texture. The only time you're really gonna to wanna to worry about whether you're able to see the texture of a bra is when, um, usually for larger cups, once you hit that J size, you're gonna have a seam right through the middle and that's because they need it to make the bra and you might notice it then. A lot of those bras are soft shell anyway. So that was a Demi. Now, I know I talked a lot about our friend Wacol. Wacol fits me the best, I really like it. But I have transitioned a little bit over to Notori. And so I just wanted to show you this because I really like it, I think it's pretty. Um, and this is also an example of do not dry your bras. You can see how jacked up this bra is now. And I seriously love this bra. Um, this is more of a fuller coverage bra. It's not the most full coverage. It's a pretty full coverage for a Notori bra for sure. Um, a lot of Notoris are great plunge bras, so they dip pretty low. Um, and this lace, honestly, you can see the color, but you can't see the texture. It's such a soft lace. It's very good. I love Notori bras, and here's another one of their classic t-shirt bras. Um, they are super, super soft. They're just soft, soft bras. Um, and they have great t-shirt bras. This is like my go-to right now. I live in Texas, it's so hot, but this I feel consistently pretty cool in. So speaking of Texas and it being hot and me trying to roll through this, we're gonna talk about this bra that you may have never heard of. It's a spacer bra. Now I know you can't see, but if you were here with me, you would be able to see in the light that this is a special type of foam that you can see through. This is a spacer bra, so it allows air to come in the bra and out of the bra and move, and it's great. No boob sweat. You'll probably still have boob sweat, but probably a lot less. I love a spacer bra. I know Chantel makes one, or Chantel makes one, uh, Wacol. You just wanna look and kinda hold it up to the light. Can you see through it? It'll kinda make like um, a check kinda pattern is what I noticed with the spacer bras, but I love them, they're great. This is another part of the Halo line from Wacol, and you'll see that it tapers in, these straps taper in a little bit, which is great for people that feel like they want their bras in a little bit, but not quite as much of like a racer back, just a little bit of a tapering in. And it's a great bra, I like it. I love a spacer bra. So um, you can always ask when you go to get sized, do you have a spacer bra? Or look, like I said, for that checkered pattern up in the light. Now this is a strapless bra, or not a strapless bra, there's straps right here. This is a wireless bra. A lot of people, like I said, don't like to wear wires and that is because they cut into you. Remember, if you're wearing the right size cup, scoop and swoop and place in, they won't cut into you. I wore a wireless because I was lazy when I was pregnant and just did not care if they hung low or whatever because it didn't really matter. <laughs> anyway, so last thing I wanna talk about real quick is we're gonna talk about those straps. Everyone hates them and I don't blame you. So let's talk about why they're so annoying and why this is so important. Now, wearing the wrong size bra and having the straps, they can literally cut into you and make indentations, like no joke. 
and it's not healthy to wear a wrong size fitting bra. It can literally cause back issues. And if you want to justify buying a bra, then say it's for your health, and I'm not exaggerating. Literally, wearing the right size bra can make you look better, and it can make you feel better. And I wish I was just like saying that because, yeah but it literally can make you feel better. It'll reduce that back pain. You're getting the support through the back. Now, when people ask me, my bra straps are cutting into me. They should never be cutting into you. They're cutting into you because they're having to support so much weight. I'm not saying your boobs are, you know, ginormous or overly heavy, but if you are wearing the right size band, remember I said firm foundation, then you're straps aren't having to do as much work because it's kind of equal balancing act. But honestly, that band should be doing more work than anything else. So if your bands are cutting, if your straps are cutting into you, then it might be that you're wearing the wrong size band. And that's 90% of the time the issue. Get the band resized. It doesn't matter if you think you're the right size. Really check into that band because you want it to be doing most of the lifting and the support. And if you have a good band, you aren't going to need the straps to do that much weight. Really, the straps are there to kind of bring everything back, I would say. And they're really, you don't, they're not there to hoist you up. That's the biggest mo misconception. You're there to get the slack. Everyone has a little bit different shape, like I said, fuller cup, shallow cup. So yeah, make sure that you are getting that band shaped correctly, that it's the right size. Now, the last thing I wanted to say is if you're straps are loose and they're coming off of you, you might be wearing the wrong size cup. Um, and so just make sure, or you might be wearing, like you might need a demi cup. You might not need as full of a cup. Now, if you are a fuller cup, you'll notice the straps are a little thicker. And someone might say, well, should I just, if my straps are cutting into me, maybe I need some more support. Maybe I need a thicker strap. No, because you still need the support from your band and it's still going to be tugging on you. It's just more strap tugging on you and nobody wants that. Like I said, it can literally cause indentation into your shoulders. It can cause back problems. Just make sure you have the right size band and that even if it's maybe a little bit more snug than you're used to, it's going to stretch. It's not going to shrink. So just keep that in mind. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Sorry if it was bowing <laughs> as my four-year-old would say, but uh, I thought all this information is super useful, and I know that I've only, you know, I it's changed the way that I look wearing the correct size fitting bra. So subscribe below and pay attention. I've got a video coming out Tuesday and Thursday every week. I'll see you soon. Ask questions below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great week.